The workers thought they found a muddy puppy, but they cleaned it up and got the sweetest surprise. When construction workers discovered a muddy puppy stranded at the bottom of a hole in South Essex, they knew this was their only hope of rescue. They did everything they could to save the dog in distress, but when they washed the creature's matted fur, an extremely sweet surprise awaited them. What initially appeared to be a puppy was eventually transported to South Essex Wildlife Hospital, an animal welfare organization in the English county of Essex, near London. Sue Schwar founded the organization in 1995 in those early days. In fact, it became the first wildlife rescue center of its kind in the region. It is now a sanctuary for the care and rehabilitation of the area's native wildlife, including mammals, birds, and even reptiles. Initially, Schwa ran the hospital from home due to demand. However, he had to find a larger and more suitable environment. This has increased the number of animals that the hospital can accommodate to over 200. The veterinary staff can now attend to any animal that comes by the doors of the hospital, and not a single one is denied emergency treatment. In fact, a team of volunteers and professional veterinarians work tirelessly to ensure each animal receives the utmost care. The charity also covers a large part of southern England, including some parts of London, and people often find animals in the most extraordinary places in the region. Such a discovery happened in 2012. Interestingly, this time it wasn't the most obvious place for a young animal to hide. That's because the discovery was made in Canary Wharf a part of London dominated by famous shops and skyscrapers. And given the near-continuous construction development, the area is certainly not synonymous with wildlife. So when construction workers build their sites on site, they rarely have to worry about disturbing animals. For example, one spring day in 2012, a group of construction workers at a construction site in the area dug up without a second. I thought about what they might find out. Then, however, they came across a strange worker who had heard screams coming from a hole in the construction site, and upon further investigation discovered a bulge in the ground. Also, the builders soon found that alarmingly, the mound was moving. In fact, upon closer inspection, they could see what they thought was the shape of a boy. As a result, the team dropped their tools and hatched a plan to use plastic and mud to rescue the injured animal from the hole. So they had to be careful if they wanted to get the creature out unharmed. They also needed to know how long the pup had been down there. Time was a delicate matter then, but just as as quickly, the builders pulled the animal out of the hole and brought it to the mainland, although they could not. I won't say what kind of creature they found. Yes, it was so covered in mud that all its features were obscured. In fact, most of the mud had dried to a thick hard layer covering the poor animal's fur. As a result, the workers didn't know if he was in pain. All knew that he needed specialized care and fast. Construction workers then transported the creature to the South Essex Wildlife Hospital. There, they discovered that the village animal wasn't a puppy. They had found a four-month-old red fox. According to an estimate published by The Guardian, there are around 150,000 urban foxes living in the UK. Perhaps that's why wildlife clinics like the one in Essex are used to dealing with animals. And with so much experience, a small team for the rescued construction workers was in the best of hands with the hospitals on duty vets. Removing the fox's thick layer of mud was a priority, so they washed the animal in the bathtub for a long time, and soon its distinctive red fur was spotless. Sue Schwar was relieved that the animal had arrived on time. According to his builder's rescuers, Mudsy had no way of getting out of the hole unaided, so he credited them with saving the fox's young life. He would certainly have died a rather horrible death had he not been found. She told the Daily Mail in 2012 it was very cold and she was in shock, but now she is fine. We felt very sorry for him because he was completely caked. He added to the newspaper that the builders were doing some preliminary work on the site and that a few holes remained open. Neither of us knew how long he was in that hole. It could have been all weekend. While Muddy's whereabouts are currently unknown, hopefully he has learned from his exposure to the danger. After all, a construction site is no place for a baby fox.